good morning or well actually it's the afternoon now so good afternoon so you may recall back over the summer I went shopping for an air conditioning unit to go out into the garage because I couldn't stand to work in the garage when it was really really hot and that worked out great I got a little window unit and it cools down the garage perfectly but I didn't think about the fact that I would need the opposite of that in the winter because lately it has been way too cold to go out there and do any work which is why it's taken me so long to do that tombstone so I'm going shopping for a small space heater today to go in the garage and make it a little bit more bearable I'm gonna go to Lowe's because I feel like they'll have the biggest selection uh, but if they don't have what I'm looking for at a decent price, then I'll probably head over to Walmart or Target or somewhere. But I do have to work later tonight, so I can't take all day doing this. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'll grab something to eat for lunch. And yeah, it'll be an exciting day, and you guys can come along with me, and yeah, great fun, great fun. I don't know why I was talking like that. Here we go, I'm looking for stuff like this. Or way up there. There we go. That's what we need. Mission accomplished. Check it out. I told you guys before about how I always feel weird vlogging inside stores because I always feel like the employees are watching me. Uh, especially in Lowe's because I actually have been fussed at for recording in Lowe's before. So I always like feel weird and awkward about pulling my camera out. I always look around to make sure no one's coming. But yeah, there it is. I think that'll work out pretty well. It says that it works good for heating like 500 square feet, which that garage is much less than 500 square feet, so I think it'll work. All right, so I want to go ahead and get this heater set up and see how well it works out here, because it's pretty chilly. The temperature right now outside is like 60, I think, uh, but in here, it actually feels colder, I guess, because like the insulation and stuff, it holds the cold in. So I want to get this heater set up, uh, see if it, see how well it works, and if it starts uh, warming up pretty quickly, I'll go ahead and do some more painting on this. I'll put the first gray layer on it. All right, so let's do a quick heater unboxing, I guess. Uh, there's not going to be much to it because it says it's fully assembled. You just open it up and plug it in, so. Just one piece, and there it is. Pretty simple. Which, simple is good. Alright, so I can just put it right here. Seems like a good spot for it, like right over here by the window. Uh, let's just get it plugged in. Alright. So it seems pretty simple. I'll just hit the power button, set the temperature. <laughs> simple as that. So for now, we'll just do it 76, see how well that works. And wow, it's already warm. Didn't have to like have a heat up period or anything. It's already blowing warm air. Awesome. So right now, it's saying that it's 55 in here. So I'll let it run for a little bit and see how long it takes for the temperature to go up. Well, that's slightly disappointing. It's been about 20-25 minutes, uh, long enough for me to do a whole coat of paint on here, including the little, inside the little crevices. And the heater still says 55. 
So clearly it takes a little while for the overall temperature to go up, but it still works since having it right here, it was like blowing directly where I was working. So it works, but as far as like warming up the whole area goes, I guess it'd have to be running for quite a bit longer. So that kind of stinks, but we've got the first coat of gray on the tombstone. And actually, I almost feel like I don't need a second coat of gray because I got pretty good coverage with that coat. So I don't know, I'll see once it dries. And if I don't need another coat of gray, then all I have to do is the lettering, the cracks, and then one last final, like, dry brush coat. And it will be finished. But yeah, I'll have to just wait and see how it looks after it dries. Wow. That is a very threatening looking sky. I think there's about to be a pretty big storm. And tonight is not the Super Bowl, so I have a full night of work tonight. So, I'm on the way there, and I'll see you guys at about 1 o'clock. So somehow I have misplaced my camera. Uh, I think that it might be still outside in the garage from when I was out there earlier today. And I really hope that's where it is. But right now it is too cold for me to go out there and look for it. So for now, I'm just gonna stick with the phone. So I got home from work a little while ago. Uh, like I said, it was a regular night of work. So right now it's like, it's like 1.50 in the morning, so. I'm about to head on to bed, actually. I am pretty tired, but I didn't want to show you something real fast. After I got home, I just had some dinner, but I also worked, did a little bit of work on like third hour production stuff. And I just want to show you that I actually changed the banner on the third hour productions YouTube channel. It used to be this old boring black and white picture of like the clock logo, and it just said third hour productions. And it has been that way for like four or five years now. It's never been updated. So I finally went in and did something a little bit more interesting. I changed it to the clock tower image uh, just enough to see this part of the tower with the actual clock and the logo over here. I think it's a little bit more interesting than just the black and white image. It's got some color thrown into it, the blue and stuff back here. I think that looks a lot nicer. So, as always, feel free to go check out the Third Hour Productions YouTube channel. That's my other project that I do besides the daily vlogs and all the Halloween stuff. And yeah, that's going to be it for tonight because I am tired and it is now 2 o'clock. So, I'm going to bed. I have to be up early in the morning. Uh, Charles and I are having a meeting tomorrow, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. I said that backwards. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.